Hey guys, in today's video we're going to recreate the July Ipsy Glam Bag pattern on our nails. We're going to start off with a white base and then apply our nail vinyl stencils onto our nails. And just make sure that you um, press them tightly onto your nail to make sure that no polish is bleeding through. And then I like to cut the bottom and top part and also the sides since you're going to be peeling these strips off one by one. So once you have that, I like to color in the spaces just to make sure that I know what color I'm filling in which gap. And then I'm going to fill in the gaps. I will list all of the polishes used in the description bar down below. And so one quick tip to have straight lines, crisp straight lines when you're working with these vinyls is to make sure that once you fill in a top and bottom part of a particular vinyl, you peel that one off before continuing to fill in the rest. So here I'm just going to fill in with this pretty purple, I mean pretty coral color that came in the July Glam Bag for me. And then I'm going to peel that vinyl right away since I already filled the blue and that coral color. And here I'm just showing you how I do the same thing for the yellow and lastly that last strip too. So now we're going to do our eye cat pattern and I love eye cat because you don't have to be perfect and it's just a really cool pattern that you think is not going to look good but in the end it really looks really cool. So here I'm just adding some brown and again I am going to make that little eye cat pattern by just kind of flicking my nail art brush and making like irregular um, jagged edges. I don't know how to explain it but you can see what I'm doing here and you don't have to be perfect about this. Just make sure that you keep that same zigzag or um, chevron pattern. And then I'm just adding some more details to the blue. Um, kind of mimicking that same pattern that we have in our July glam bag. I will list the nail art brush that I'm using down below and I think the only difference that I did from the actual pattern that's on our glam bag is that I added white over the brown just because I used a really dark brown and I felt like you couldn't really see what was going on there. But once you let everything dry, you can go ahead and apply a nice layer of top coat to smooth everything out and give it a nice glossy shine. And that is it for today guys. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and let me know in the comments down below if next month you would like to see an actual Ipsy bag unboxing along with a tutorial. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more. Bye!